Hey everyone, my name is Michal and apart from being a web developer and founder of MDB, I am also a huge fan of history, maps and fantasy. Over the years, observing the world of front-end technologies, I could not help but feel that this is a great material for creating a separate universe that could become the basis for an extremely interesting story. So I asked myself a question, what if front-end technologies were countries? how you can visualize the power of a given framework on a quasi-historical maps using real data such as NPM downloads or other statistics. I was also tempted to write a mini story that could happen in such an imaginary universe. I would name it Game of Codes. Anyway, if you are curious about how front technologies visualize asset states would look like, keep watching. And if you have any idea how this story and this world could become more interesting or more in line with real statistics, let me know in the comments. The methodology used here is simple. The size of a given country depends on the number of NPM downloads and the area is calculated based on the percentage of total downloads. I use data from the last 12 months. So the react with overwhelming 508 million yearly downloads accounts for 53% of the market share or in this case of the continent's area. The next is view with over 200 million yearly downloads and this is 21% of available area. Next is Angular with 122 million downloads and 13% of area. And the next is jQuery with 115 million yearly downloads and this is around 12%. And the last one is Svelte with only 7 million yearly downloads and this is around 1% of the continent's area. In naming I adopted a simple rule. React is an empire because it conquered the largest part of the market and swallowed many other front-end kingdoms. Vue, Angular and jQuery are kingdoms because they are of similar power and size. And Svelte is the smallest of all, has merely the status of a duchy. But the full potential of the front-end story reveals itself when we look back a few years. The landscape was much more diverse in 2015 and the technological continent was more divided. When I look at this map from 2015, I immediately see the numerous dramas, successes, failures and unexpected twists in the lives of our characters in this fascinating front-end story. The dominant technology back then was jQuery. and React was just one of many kingdoms. Ember and Backbone had a strong position, which will be later eaten by the neighboring powers, and Vue was then only a small, meaningless principality, and no one expected what power it would grow to. An interesting situation is for the kingdom of Angular, which has lasted unchanged for years, numerous turmoil did not affect its position too much, but it also never made a significant expansion itself. As you know, every good fantasy universe has its heroes and monsters. I see a great potential for creative work here. If you have any idea for a card, please go ahead and create the card for a monster or heroes. You can use one of the templates I've prepared and you can simply fork it and then publish it. So, there is a lot of space to improve the design, not to create a card for new front-end heroes, ideas for monsters and bugs, ideas for superpowers and statistics, or interesting descriptions. Then you can post it on Twitter with a hashtag game of code and I will collect all the cards and then put it in the public collection. For sure, there are a lot of inaccuracies and room for improvement in this whole concept. Certainly there is also a huge potential to create an extensive universe and an extremely interesting story. Of course, such a project will have no practical use. It is pure for fun for real geeks. So if you are, like me, one of those geeks, 
let me know in the comments what I could improve or how to make this world and this story even more interesting. All ideas and suggestions are welcome. By the way, in the near future I'm going to create similar maps for CSS and backend world. So if you're interested in this topic and would like to receive information when I create new maps and new stories from the technological universe, subscribe to our YouTube channel.